Hello students, this is Poonam Matresh. Today I'm going to explain, I'm going to study with you the experimental proof that DNA is the genetic material and not the protein. This experiment was done by Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase in 1952. What was the experiment? The experiment was that they proved that DNA is the genetic material and not the protein. Now, what was the experimental material they took forth? So here you can see they took bacteriophages, more specifically T2 bacteriophages and E. coli bacteria. These were the experimental material or you can say organisms they took into consideration. So here you can see students, bacteriophages are those viruses which infect bacteria. During normal infection, the bacteriophage first attaches the bacterial cell wall and then they insert their genetic material into the bacterial cells. Now the viral genetic material became integral part of the bacterial genome. What does it mean? It means that the genetic material of virus incorporate into the bacterial genome or bacterial chromosome. And by using the host machinery, by using the bacterial machinery mechanism, they can prepare their own particles of which they are made up of. They are made up of holy proteins and DNA. So they, they use host machinery to make their own proteins, to make their own DNA. These proteins, these uh, DNA get assembled to form new viruses. So in this way, they multiply within the bacterium, within the E. coli bacteria, you can say. And this process is called transduction. Now here you can see Hershey and Chase work to discover whether it was protein or DNA from viruses that enter into the bacteria. Now students, what was the experimental step they took into consideration? Now number one is they grew some viruses on a medium having radioactive phosphorus and some others on medium having radioactive sulfur. Why this, uh, this step being taken by by them because to differentiate between proteins and DNA those uh, elements are required which are present in one and which are absent in another. For example in DNA phosphorus is present while in protein sulfur is present. If they took carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen they, then they could not differentiate between the Two, that is proteins and DNA. Why? Because these elements are common in both. So they took into consideration those elements radioactive which are present in one and which is absent in another. For example, here phosphorus is present in DNA while it is absent in proteins. Similarly, sulfur is absent in DNA while it is present in proteins. That is why they took into consideration phosphorus and sulfur as radioactive in DNA and proteins respectively. Now viruses grown in radioactive phosphorus have radioactive DNA but not radioactive protein because phosphorus present in DNA not in protein as I said. Viruses grown in radioactive sulfur have radioactive protein not radioactive DNA because sulfur present in protein but not in DNA. Now come to the next slide. Now what were the steps taken by Hershey and Chase? Number one, infection. So the radioactive phages were allowed to attach to the E. coli bacteria. The phages transfer the genetic material to the bacteria. Next is blending. Blending means agitating so that whatever the uh, materials attached to the cell wall. Here viral codes are attached to the cell wall of bacteria. They get separated while blending. This experiment is also known as blending experiment because of this 
step taken by them. Next is centrifugation. The virus particles were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in a centrifuge machine. And when the materials are allowed to settle down, they settle down as per their molecular weight. So what was the observation? Bacteria infected with viruses that had radioactive DNA were radioactive and no radioactivity is seen in supernatant. So you can see that the bacteria were viruses shown radioactive because the radioactivity was taken in DNA. Bacteria infected with viruses that have radioactive protein were not radioactive because radioactivity found in supernatant, not in bacteria, because in this case, proteins are taken radioactive, not DNA. So in bacteria, radioactivity is not seen. So what was the conclusion of the experiment? So the conclusion was DNA is the infecting agent. DNA is the genetic material, not the protein. So students, let us study this again. Let us revise the same topic again with, with the help of this diagrammatic representation. Here you can see, this is Hershey and Chase experiment, which is also called blending experiment. Here you can see two sets of bacteriophages, T2 bacteriophages. The red color demarcates radioactive. So here you can see here the protein is made radioactive by taking sulfur. 35 as radioactive so that protein becomes radioactive because sulfur is not present in DNA. So DNA is not seen radioactive over here of bacteriophages. While here you can see that DNA is radioactive. Why? Because here phosphorus 32 is taken radioactive. So because phosphorus is present in DNA, not in protein. So here DNA only becomes the radioactive. So here you here you can see there are two sets of bacteriophages. In one case, you can see that proteins are radioactive. In the second case, you can see DNA is radioactive. So here the color demarcates the radioactivity. So red color is radioactive. Now, number one step of experiment, you can say. One first step is infection. So here you can see these viruses attach to the cell wall of bacteria. They spread their tail, just like a syringe, they inject their genetic material within the bacterial cell. Here you can see they are injecting their uh, genetic material, which is DNA over here in the bacterial cell. Second is blending. The content which is present in a test tube is agitated so that the virus particles which are attached to the bacterial wall, they get separated from the bacterial cell wall. Only the DNA or the genetic material enters into the bacteria. The rest of the things get separated after agitation, after blending, you can say. Now, here you can see these are the viral codes which are free from DNA because their DNA has gone within the bacterial cell. So these are free viruses free from you can say DNA they are only viral codes they are only proteins now come to centrifugation here you can see centrifugation is done spinning is done okay in a centrifuge machine because after centrifugation when we settle down the content then we get two different layers so your content separates into two layers here you can see how the two layers can be arranged after centrifugation. So these contents, these biomolecules, these cells settle down as per their molecular weight. The cells, which you can see on the lower side here, if, if the cursor is visible here, you can see these are called pellets because they are heavier, they are bacterial cells. They settle down at the bottom. While the free viral codes, you can see here, they are arranged in the supernatant because they have low molecular weight. While the pellets, which are actually bacterial cells, they have high molecular weight, so they settle down at the bottom. So here you can see two layers are clearly demarcated in both the cases. One is supernatant, one is supernatant, another is pellet here also. You can see pellets. So in supernatant, you find viral codes only. 
while in supernate in this uh, pellets you find bacterial cells where within the bacteria you can find new progeny of viruses as well got it now here you can see students that in first case because here in the first case Hershey and Chase or, or if you talk about the diagrammatic representation you have taken you have drawn you have made protein radioactive so radioactivity is seen only in supernatant in the viral codes here you can see radioactivity seen in viral codes only in the supernatant but in pellets you can't find any radioactivity here you can see no radioactivity seen in bacterial cell and in you can say the progeny of the new viruses but in second case uh, you have drawn you have taken radioactivity in dna so here you can see in supernatant where only viral codes are present in supernatant no radioactivity is seen but at the bottom where pellets lie where bacterial cells lie you can see radioactivity in bacterial cell so the new progeny of viruses show radioactivity so this was the result of the experiment so what was the result of the experiment dna is the genetic material not the protein so this is what about students hershey and chase experiment thank you and have a nice day bye bye